Hello and let's talk about the Indian Premier League. The tournament began on Saturday, September 19th in the United Arab Emirates in the most unusual of circumstances. It's being held in a bio-bubble with no real spectators. On the other hand, if you see the matches, you'll be hearing a lot of spectator noise and cheering, which has been added by the broadcasters. One of the early responses by fans was a bit of ribbing of the players who seemed a bit unfit, with some of the memes bordering on the lines of being offensive. There have been reports of players being injured too, raising questions of what kind of preparations actually took place before the tournament. And then there's of course the question of Indian cricket at large, especially the Ranji Trophy. What happens to that? We talked to NewsClick's Leslie Xavier on some of these issues. Thank you, Leslie, for joining us. So uh, the IPL is kicked off and of course the sport, uh, a lot of viewers tuning in definitely, although it's not being held in India and the circumstances are quite uh, different to say the least. And there's, of course, been some talk about the general fitness of players, a lot of, say, speculation about that. So what's your take on the first few days of action? How do you see it going? What do you think are the standout aspects that have uh, come out over the past few days? The funny to the abs absurd, I would say. But yeah, let's, uh, I mean, when I talk about IPL and the matches, of course, uh, when matches are happening, results are coming out. Uh, and the nature of the game is such that uh, invariably the matches tend to be a little interesting. It gets tight. And I mean, uh, T20 is such. I mean, uh, any match, more or less equally match sides, then uh, it's, it's going to be a nail biter. Right. So close to that. And of course, sixes, fireworks, all these things happen too. And broadcast uh, star has ensured that there is a bit of a interest because they have introduced crowd noise, which has left uh, uh, divided, I mean, opinions divided also, because it, it looks odd that the stands are empty in the visuals, but it's buzzing, the stadium is buzzing. It's, there's a lot of cheer, yes. Uh, so it's, and the players are not, obviously not hearing it, we are hearing it. So uh, I don't know, it, it, it looks completely surreal, it looks odd. Uh, right. Surreal is um, a more positive word, I feel. <laughs> and so, uh, but uh, but to start with, I would like to talk about uh, uh, generally how the setup has been for media to cover this season. So, uh, BCCI, as we had discussed a couple of weeks back in one of the talk, talk shows, they have com com complete control over the situation there. Uh, it's it's a bubble. It's a quarantine center also. So no no news come out comes out unless the BCCI stamps its approval. So, media is not allowed, citing uh, uh, health concerns and quarantine, I mean, the protocols. And uh, so, there, will, there won't be pre-match press conferences as, as per the BCCI rules. Post-match uh, online media conference happens where registered uh, uh, journalists can tune in and the BCCI provides with with uh, interviews, but but you have to apply and go through them. And uh, images also they provide rights free images which can be used editorially. So all these things, narrative is completely controlled. It it becomes mm -hmm. like a big boss house if you ask me. Right. Yeah, everybody is in there, and then the drama happens and all that. Let's see, let's see how it it un unfolds mm -hmm. as far as. Uh, I mean, off-field things are concerned because, as we all know, Middle East, UAE, Dubai, it's it's the hub of a lot of bookies and people who generally try to manipulate the outcome of sport. Uh, so uh, let's see how that goes. But uh, as far as as far as uh, the narrative and the media access is concerned, this is how it is, and uh, uh, action gets streamed onto our TV sets or. Uh, mobile or laptop screens, and the league has started. <laughs> so right. So uh, one of the questions was specifically about the fitness. Now it's a, it's it's a, it's a bit of a dicey discussion, so to speak. Uh, how how to conduct that discussion without going into cliches and stereotypes, and you know some of the more problematic ways in which it's often framed. So what's your take on the issue? You are dragging me into body shaming now, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, professional sport is a cutthroat world, mm -hmm. and it's not about uh, body type or body shaming as such. It's a, a, about performance also. It's about remaining injury free. 
so fitness i mean it's not about six packs either i mean sport related fitness is what what i would be more concerned about yeah mm-hmm. a lot of memes went around on twitter on social media about uh, even in the opening match psk versus mumbai indians and uh, uh, rohit sharma was uh, i mean visibly plump a couple of other players as well uh, manoj to uh, uh, saurabh tiwari <laughs> sorry manoj <laughs> so that you are was was also i mean so these players were targeted online online i mean social media but uh rohit sharma if you look at his fitness then he struggled a little through the match he, he played well but the problem was he was uh, coming back from an injury last uh, february he got his hamstring injured uh, and then after that he has not seen any action at all he must have gone to rehab and fitness drills and all that and then the lockdown happened so full fledged uh, fitness workouts or running or net sessions or anything uh, everything would have been absent for him and then when you look at how the league uh, as progressed before i mean the preparation stage for the for the players it's been slightly haphazard now the, now the board has set the ipl governing council has set protocols for the eco bubble as such but there were no set system for the teams to prepare these players so everybody went there went by their own own plans as such so some teams are more better prepared some teams are less prepared but uh, i mean again there is no team preparation as such because it's 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 It, the players were all convened at the last moment that way except for csk when they had a small camp in chennai and so in such a situation what happens is that there is no control over the fitness of the players uh, for the team so a, a direct comparison can be made with uh, uh, how the sport uh, big sport restarted in other other disciplines for instance football uh, the clubs got their players into their own special uh, quarantine or eco bubbles and they started training them fitness wise they uh, they ensure that they are getting getting on the boys slowly so that they don't get injured and then they started group training after ensuring that all the players are free from free from coronavirus and then full fledged uh, match simulation trainings happened then a few Uh, training matches happened then they got into competitions as such so it was a full elaborate one and a half month process now the dates of ipl were announced one and a half to two months back they were expecting this so they should have probably been a bit proactive about fitness as such and not surprisingly there has been uh, an injury list as well already uh, in the first week you have six players who are injured and uh, uh the list uh, i am expecting the list to grow so uh, uh, i mean i'll just name out uh, some of the prominent players who are in the injury list as such uh mumbai indians you have nathan colton nile who is injured uh, uh royal challengers bangalore you have chris morris who is sitting out uh, sunrisers hyderabad kane williamson is sitting out uh, michel marsh is out of the tournament he is completely ruled out so He injured his right hand ankle while uh, uh, in the very first over uh, while they were playing. Right. So again, uh, Ishan Sharma is injured. Ashwin R Ashwin again. He was he played the match and he injured while, during the match while he died for while fielding. Uh, Chennai Super Kings Ambati Ambati Raidu is uh, injured and Raidu again. If you remember 2019 World Cup, uh, he he was dropped. I mean, he was not considered for the Indian team, and after that, he got angry and he le- he retired from all forms of cricket except the IPL. So he is coming back into competition from there. Right. So it's like uh, more than a year. So he he is injured. He has some hamstring problem. Dwayne Bravo, he has seen action. He is coming from the Caribbean Premier League, but he picked up a knee injury there. So obviously, his preparation before that must have been lacking. Lacking. Right. He has a knee injury. So this is this is a, a big problem. This is going to be one of the biggest problems for IPL and the teams, and also cricket in general, because some of these players are big players for the national team. Mm-hmm. Once uh, tournaments open, once uh, bilateral series open. Right. these players would be missing in action there as well and their right. personal careers are also in jeopardy because uh, ipl didn't plan it well as far as they training them and uh, as far as the fitness of the players are concerned and this is just a physical aspect of it later i i i i was talking to one of the 
mental coaches who was there with the, in the IPL Eco Bubble right now with one of the team. And uh, he was telling me that uh, he is expecting more issues on the mental side as uh, as far as players struggling with uh, with pressure, dealing with pressure, and all that in the latter half of the tournament. Right, right, right. And also the isolation doesn't help at all. Yeah. The isolation doesn't help at all. And uh, so, so uh, that's that's another aspect to it, which which would be addressed. Uh, I mean, which 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 uh, IPL would address, I guess, because they have no choice, but. Uh, it's it's going to be one uh, tricky league. It's mm. unlike unlike any other normal circumstances when you when you when you look at look at the Indian Premier League. Right. And in this context, any other uh, interesting international examples uh, that you you can uh, think of uh, how yes. how fitness is being dealt with? So the uh, biggest uh, sport that has I mean I mean if you look at football obviously uh, some injuries have been there with all the leagues happening but that is I mean it's not been unprecedented numbers as such because football is an injury prone sport and when when high intensity high quality action happens some some players are uh, bound to pick up some niggles or so but otherwise things have been so systematic that uh, and duly not be, uh, because they they were not careful or they were not systematic. No injury has been has happened as such. We saw US Open uh, uh, being completed. The women's champion pulled out of the French Open, which is going to start this uh, this coming weekend. Uh, she, I mean, Naomi Osaka has always struggled with uh, hamstring injuries, so she that she she had taped taped her leg up when she was competing at the US Open also. So. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, a player has to uh, also take the schedule very carefully mm-hmm. these days. So we are talking about a couple of, I mean, at least a couple of months. Bray, uh, uh, I mean, the gap would have been there between two Grand Slams, right. and we are talking about U.S. Open just finishing, and then mm-hmm. the French Open starting within exactly. within a fort within okay. a fortnight. So, exactly. so, so I mean, I'm. It's 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 going to be a huge toll on on players. Exactly why Nadal possibly didn't play in the U.S. Open and he's trying to focus on his favorite surface. Anyways, but but if you look at generally tennis players, they were all on the boil. Yeah, it's an individual sport. It's easy for, probably for them to train and maintain their physical intensity coming into the tournament. But still, it's uh, so. The, uh, that's so. Like I said, it's a trap getting into comparison between sport, but you, but cricket is more for, forgiving as a sport, I would say. And on the day when tennis Superkings played uh, Mumbai Indians in the opening match of this season's IPL Saturday, we saw a uh, tremendous physical feat happening in France uh, to the France second last stage, stage 20th, the eventual champion. Uh, he, he he rode a ride which is which can be termed as a ride of a century or maybe ride of a life like many adjectives. So Tade uh, Pogachar, 21 year old, became the youngest uh, uh, to the France cha- champion post World War II era, uh, and he did did that by cutting the deficit uh, by 57 seconds. He was behind. Uh, at that point, the uh, leader, again a fellow so- Slovenian, uh, Roglic, he was behind Roglic by 57 seconds. He overcome that deficit and then he took a lead of one minute as well. So he cut two minutes in that single stage, which was a time trial. And it was unprecedented to the because it was a climb. Uh, he also was not using any technological aid like a power meter or so. So he was going just by physical instinct alone. And uh, post this victory at Tour de France, there were some stories about his training, his preparation. So April it was when his team manager asked him to stay off cycling for a week because he was already showing signs that he is peak. So he said that uh, you cut down the intensity a little because we want to peak at Tour de France in France come uh, September. Right. So, so you are talking about April. So what were our cricketers doing in April? So that's that's a that's a, that, that's a, so you are talking about professionals in various sports, different sports, but you are talking about professionalism. Right. 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 So. As a professional player, you are getting paid so, so, so much of money to perform. 
so even under unprecedented circumstances even under lockdown their biggest duty just like us journalists if we are in lockdown also we will try and maintain our work environment our work networks our work system so that we 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 uh, do justice to the salaries that we get we justice to the professional tag that we have absolutely so, Uh, so that's the that's that's the direct comparison I would like to make rather than comparing the physicality of the sport as such. It's about mm-hmm. the professionalism right. uh, that uh, cricketers should uh, maintain, and the nature of cricket as such, which would which is forgiving in a way. That's why they get away with it as well. Right, right, absolutely. Right, and Leslie. Finally, uh, of course, there's a lot of discussion about the IPL, but what about the Ranji Trophy and the domestic scene in india otherwise it seems to have kind of completely vanished from discussions and coverage so what do you think about it in fact that was the first thing that we would have uh, discussed because uh, uh, we should have we should and the entire country should discuss because that is where cricketers come up from ipl yeah ipl is is a stage where players get picked up from the ranji the youngsters and then they show uh, show their metal and then they get into the national team set up or they get into teams and become domestic ipl stars as such but uh, ranji trophy is where the real talent is ranji trophy is where uh, is the platform where youngsters come up ranji ranji trophy is the backbone of indian cricket so uh, there is no plan as such as far as uh, i know so i mean till date uh, whether the upcoming season of ranji would be held or not it's uh, i mean understandably it's, it's it's a difficult task if you look at the magnitude of the tournament as such the teams involved the traveling that would be involved and all that so uh, i understand bcc is bcci being a little careful about it but what i don't understand is it's not about being careful as such there has been no discussion there has been no planning no contingency as such right. there are, again a direct comparison can be made with football the all india football, football federation then again it's not a perfect federation as such but at least they are making an attempt so they are staging the i league second division uh, now in the in the coming week and they are going to stage uh, the indian super league in eco bubble in goa they are going to stage uh, the i league which is which happens to be the second tier tournament now in in calcutta in an in, a, in an eco bubble in november in, later in the year so uh, the and and slightly shortened cutrail tournament uh, you are looking at there isl would be full fledged so attempt was made to at least the top 3 4 tiers of the of the indian domestic chat has been maintained of course the age group and uh, tournaments and all the discussion has not happened yet and it's it's again a huge task so then g i mean uh, this is uh, it's clear uh, the priority here is the money money factor so trophy is not the money spin off of bcci uh, ipl is and uh, broadcast uh, Uh, issues are there, and uh, 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 broadcast rights and uh, broadcasters' pressures, and uh, so that prompted BCCI to uh, push push for this league to be staged so much so that the world, even the World Cup was dropped. So exactly, uh, yeah, uh, it looks uh, it looks unlikely that the Ranji Trophy would be staged this season, and that would be unfortunate for the for the entire lot of cricketers because their livelihood, their uh, career, uh, some of them would be hitting critical junctures in their career where <laughs> this season or the next two three seasons would would make or break them, would would help them come up into the national team or maybe. Uh, relegate them into, uh, but but it's a, I mean so those players it's unfortunate more unfortunate, but uh, in general if you look at it for Indian cricket it's it's it, it would be very unfortunate if Ranji doesn't take place and that's right. the, that seems to be the likely scenario at the moment. Right. Thank you so much, Rajiv, for talking to us. That's all we have time for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from the country and the world. Until then, keep watching News Click. Thank you.